Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Vincent Tan speaking. This time, I'm going to share you the introduction about condensing unit. We call it Unix. Meanwhile, I also provide the corresponding videos linkages at the below description area just for your reference. This sharing device into these five parts. Moreover, I also provide the correct subtitle. Don't forget to turn it on if you need. Summary and comparison. Hi, is the summary of all the scenarios by using Unix. First is the Unix together with AHU, either from Toso or from any other uh, brands. And for Toso, we support horizontal and vertical installation. And for this one, you can achieve uh, this actual heating, which is we can do the heating until minus 30. And also, you can do the gray heating. And this is for the new installation for the virtual fit project which is the AHU. If it is not uh, from Trossel, we only require this AHU includes this TXV. Do you know what is the purpose of this one? Three, two, one. Yes, the purpose is just to do the metering in cooling mode. Okay, in cooling mode, we require this to do the metering. As for the next scenario, it's uh, together with the Rover, and this time you we already apply this A coil, and for this A coil also we support. You can install it at at the lower side or the upper side of this blower, and also after that you can achieve this actual heating and great cooling. For a virtual fit project, also require this one includes TXV if it is not from Tosso. The last one is together with the furnace to achieve dual fuel. And for this one, also the A coil can install at the upper side or the lower side of the furnace and also to achieve this uh, actual heating and great cooling. And also uh, for the dual fuel, we require the thermostat to support the detail setting. And for more detail, please go to my previous introduction. And for the visual fit project, I uh, always require uh, this one has the TXV for the cooling. That's all for this sharing. If you still have any other question, feel free to contact me on my email address. I start the proxima. So, there you go.